So the first thing we're going to do is we have all of our pieces for the maple leaf cut. Um, the way we are going to make our half square triangles is we're going to put the two larger pieces together right sides facing and we're going to stitch around all four sides of this square. Now that we have all four sides of our square sewn, we are going to cut this from corner to corner um, on both diagonals. Now we are going to open these and give them a press to the dark side. Just going to lightly press them. Try not to push them out of shape or stretch them any. They are on the bias because of that method. And the next step we're going to do is we will want to square these up to the size mentioned in the pattern. After we have our squares ready to go, we are just going to lay the block out, making it easy for us to sew together. So I'm just putting the background pieces in their spots as well as the half square triangles. So what we're going to do is take it to the machine. We're going to sew these two together and then repeat the process. And then we will be adding this third one on. So I've sewn the first row together and you can see that they are still connected and that's just fine because you can kind of chain piece these together. So what I can do is snip off this first line and then I'm able to add the additional last column onto what I've already sewn, giving me three different rows. So now that I have my three rows sewn together, what I can do before I begin the next um, step on adding them or sewing them all together, I am going to press them. So I haven't pressed them yet. You can decide which direction you want to press them in. They can do alternating sides. So if you press the top all to the left, then you will want to press this next row I, it looks like I'm pressing it to the left, but I have flipped it over. And then just make sure I flip it back. So I pressed it opposite to that, and then this one I'm going to press to the left as well. So I'm just going to make sure that all of the seams are turned properly. So now what I can do is when I sew them together, I'm going to place right sides together. And as you can see, because of how I've pressed it, my seams are going to nest together because they're going in opp opposite direction. So I'm going to sew these two rows together and then sew that third row on. So now that I have all three of my rows sewn together, I can go ahead and press the block really well, making sure that it is squared up properly, doing any kind of trimming that I need. So that is a quick instruction on how to sew the maple leaf quilt block.